So, Genshin Impact has their very own saber. Come on, you can't deny there are similarities. Both are noble knights, has a strong sense of duty and justice for their people, and both are top tier waifus. Besides, they even have the same wind burst attack. All Gina's missing is shooting lasers from her sword. How's it going everyone? This is K Collections. I'll go over how you can use Jean in Genshin Impact from a somewhat free-to-play standpoint. I mean, I spent 40 bucks in total, so it's not like I'm a whale with 5-star swords and artifacts and being able to grind endlessly with unlimited resins. So, I personally think this can be relatable for more casual players. Also, this is from my own playstyle and experiences, so it's not this is the definitive way on how you should use her. No, that's not what this video is about. Use her how you see fit, we all have our own style. For myself, Jean is my primary DPS unit. Her normal attack is a series of 5 continuous slashes, nothing too special, but I will show you a combo with her E skill to dramatically increase damage because of the sword I'm using. Charge attack deals good damage, again because of the sword, but this attack can be used as a stall tactic if you do get overwhelmed by groups of enemies due to enemies floating in the air for a short time frame. This is what I typically do when getting ganged up. Charge attack on an enemy or two and let them slowly float down, which allows some breathing room, or you can suck them in with her E skill. Plunge attack is the typical downward slam everyone uses, so nothing too special there. Gale Blade, her E skill is a frontal wind blast that pushes enemies back. This skill is another tool that can generate some breathing room or space if you are fighting multiple enemies, or just need to buy some time in general. Obviously, this and her charge attack can't stall big enemies, but normal sized grunts or humanoid enemies will work. You can even hold her E skill to change direction of the blast or to suck in multiple enemies and just launch them all at once. This is powerful for environmental ringouts, but if there isn't a cliff to shoot enemies off of, then launch them upwards into the air so they'll take extra falling damage. With a 6 second cooldown, you'll be spamming this skill quite often, which is why I build Jean as a DPS instead of a support. You can even carry support of attacks like Klee's Bomb and launch them. Since I don't have her, I had Jean carry the Fire Bear. Dandelion Breeze, her Noble Phantasm, I mean her E-Burst skill, is her main weapon whether for support or as a way to wipe out enemies. Upon activation, it deals AoE damage and will continuously heal everyone while it's active. Enemies also take extra damage if they enter or leave the field. You can perform a powerful combo with her E skill. Basically, while the Dandelion Field is in effect, launch enemies out the circle with her Gale Blade for extra damage, or sometimes I go out the field to launch enemies into the circle. Overall, this is what makes Jean really good, a combination of good damage and strong healing. Her first passive is a healing ability when attacking with her normal. It's a good bonus effect and because I use her as my main DPS, I heal quite often and usually maintain good overall HP. This isn't a strong and reliable form of healing since there's chance involved and it's in direct correlation with her attack stats and attacking, so don't think this ability alone will keep your team alive, but again, as a DPS, you'll maintain good overall HP. If you are using her strictly as a supporter, typically you won't see the benefits of this passive too much since you aren't going to attack with her often, and depending on your build, her attack stats may not be the highest for better healing. I personally love this ability. This combined with her Eper skill, she is my main attacker and healer. Her second passive basically allows for better E-burst spammability, which you must have if you want to use Jean the right way. And her world passive skill is somewhat helpful for cooking, not something I really leverage. 12% is kind of low, so eh, not that great in my opinion. As for equipment, it's all free to play because FGO waifus aren't cheap. The sword I'm using can be crafted by the blacksmith, easy requirements. You can buy the sword material from the souvenir shop, but I also got one extra from killing the wolf or dragon. I can't remember who exactly. Because I'm building Jean as a DPS, the on-hit damage buff is incredible. With this sword, attack 4 times, then use her E skill for high damage. That's my typical combo for enemies, and it has worked amazingly well. Artifacts in general is free to play, but I don't have a plethora of 5-star artifacts. The only one I'm using was a lucky drop from the wolf, but the main concentration in artifacts equipment is attack and energy recharge. I try to avoid physical damage since her E skill and burst won't receive the boost, and since those are her main finishers, as a DPS, I stuck with strict attack boost. I also had a 2-piece gladiator set for more damage. I'm not going to use the 4 set unless I get artifacts with significant recharge since you want a high recharge percentage for spamming her E-burst. Mine's at around 155% and there's still room to grow since I didn't max out her recharge artifact yet. With this, I am able to spam her burst quite often, making it a reliable healing tool and a field wiping attack. 
So if you are using Jean as a DPS unit, build on her attack then recharge. Physical damage helps a lot since you'll be swinging that sword a lot. But again, I personally, keyword there, prefer a general attack boost. I sacrifice higher normal damage for more damage with elemental abilities and higher healing. So in a way, I'm playing a combination of both roles. I like to use two other units for reaction damage. I know Fischl isn't free to play, but I feel like a lot of players do have her because players did pull for Venti or pull on Venti's banner and she was on raid up. Regardless, maybe you've been saving your gems for future banners. Xiang Ling is free though, and you can use Lisa as a replacement for Fischl for quick overload reactions since she does have a reliable AoE. Then just switch back to Jean. My Ningguang is kind of just there. She does doesn't really contribute much. If you're building Jean as a support, typically as a healer, then your main priority is recharge since you need to spam her E-burst like no tomorrow, but don't forget to increase her attack as well since the healing scales with her stats. Healing bonuses are also a plus. You'll typically use her burst when ready, then switch to your main DPS. Overall, Jean is a DPS and healer. Depends on which side you'll lean more towards. Honestly, I'm really happy I got spooked by her during Venti's banner. Well. That's how you can use Jean as a somewhat free to play perspective. Again, the artifacts are our four stars, only one lucky five star drop. The sword is free to play, and I haven't really recharged my resins with gems that much. I only do like occasionally. So, this is more relatable for casual players, like I said in the beginning. Obviously, artifacts will be different, but weapon and role within the team will be similar. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future Genshin Impact content. As always, a huge thank you to all my patrons for your continued support. And if you're going for the Klee banner, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you pull her. If you're not, comment down below which banner or character specifically are you going for. You guys know me by now. I am going for a child from the Fatui. That's going to be awesome. I think, uh, or rumored, or the leak said he's coming out in November, so I'm saving all my gems for him. But comment down below and let me know. Well, as always, good luck and till next time.